Okay, hi, how's it going? This is Chris. Hi, yeah. Uh, okay. Now, what I have to do for my next part, before we do much else, is I have to duplicate my legs. Now, a couple of ways we can do this, okay? My leg is basically all set up here. So, if we look at it, this is our... Well, it's a fairly generic leg, to be honest. It's identical on both bloody sides. So we're going to say this is our right leg, and we're going to say this is our left leg. Okay, so click it. Now if I just move this around a little bit, it'll straighten it, see. At least it should. Let me check these pistons. All the pistons seem to be working fine. Now if I go into this one, let's make sure this one's been set properly as well. Let's move it briefly. Yeah, that one's fine. Okay, so now we have our two legs. Okay, now we have some bits that we're going to have to move around a little bit, so I'm going to take this and this, okay, because it's the only bits we really need to do anyway, and unlink them. Okay, so just these two bits. Don't worry about the inside one. Now with that one, I'm going to reverse it. So mirror, click OK. Same with this one, just mirror it. Okay, now, I'm going to be careful when I do this, because there's a lot going on. I'm going to take this one and this one, and I don't want to reset their pivot points, but I do need to reset their X forms. But I might reset their X forms later. They're just mirrored after all. So I'm going to come into this one, select and link. Go to there. And then I'm going to go to this one, select and link, and go to this bone here. All right. Right. Now let's have a look at the legs and see how we are doing. Now we can't just really drag across our top because we don't have an IK chain in place yet. Um, we will have one soon, but we don't have one yet. So it's up to you if you want to use the legs in the rest position, which is what they currently are or not. Um, for me, well, let's have a look. I want to make sure that everything's kind of all lining up the way it needs to be. Uh, I know this is the top of our hip, for example. So, just want to make sure that when we come down to wherever the bottom of our foot is, it's about here, everything's kind of controlling off it. Don't worry if you don't understand what I mean. So, basically, this is the root point of our leg. That bit. Let's have a look. So, animation, IK solver, IK, let me see, I don't want a HD. An IK limb solver? Yeah, why not? IK limb solver and let's move it to there. And suddenly you can see, suddenly see more. We have a leg. Oh, that's good. We like legs. Straighten that out of it. Now then, that is IK chain 001 at the end of that fella. So let's get straight off and build ourselves a controller for it. Shape, circle, and enable in viewport. Okay, and make a thickness of 5, 15. There we go, so we can see it properly. Now, what I need to do is I need to align this to my IK chain. And as you can see, we now can't see it anymore. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to press my Align button. Press H. Or just use this thing over here, right? And now I can turn off things so I can find stuff. So there's my IK chain there. Pick. And now it's aligned to it, right? So now, if I select my IK chain, just there, just get in so I can see it. And I am going to attach my IK chain. I think I should probably hide all my geometry, but I don't need to see. Hang on a second. Depends on if I'm getting close enough to see my IK chain or not. Is that it? Uh, hopefully. Oh, wrong way, sorry. Didn't do that. There, I'm going to link that 
to my IK chain, which I've just lost. Come back in. Where are you, IK chain? Where are you? Ah, oh, that is right. So IK chain. Ring. Ring links to IK chain. Uh, did I do that the way around? Yeah, I did. Sorry, IK chain links to ring. Had the wrong button. Which means now the ring will control the IK chain. Sorry about that, getting all mixed up and stuff. Now then, the IK chain at the top here can't move along, but this can. So what we can do is move that that way a bit and maybe down a bit as well. But another thing we need to put in is to stop rotation on this lower foot. Because at the minute, if I just pick this up, bear in mind we're just kind of rough doodling at the minute, but I want to stop the foot from like rocking and rolling around and stuff. So what I'm going to do is select my bottom piece here and then go to my hierarchy panel, link panel, and I'm not going to inherit any rotation. So what this means is that now my foot stays stable, see? Which is a big and rather important difference. So now I can bring my hip down a bit and across a bit like that and you'll see that we don't have the horrible issues that we had before, so I can just kind of bend it to place there, like that. Okay, so now I can redo the same thing over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my control ring, so this is needs to be renamed now to control, and that is our right leg, isn't it? Okay. So I'll take our control right leg, copy it, put it control, left leg. Okay, and control left leg is going to line itself up in just a moment. So let's go here first. Animation, IK solver, IK limb solver. Bring it down to this little bad boy here. As you can see that's all working the way it should. Now I'll take this and align it to the second IK chain. Click OK. Now I'm going to link my second IK chain, which we can just see there. See that? I'm not aligning the select with the IK chain, by the way, so I don't know why it thinks I am. Select my IK chain, link it to. Thanks for that IK chain. Link my IK chain to that. Okay, so now this will act as a controller again. And of course, remember what we did before, we go over here to our link info and tell our bottom part not to inherit any rotation. So now we can move our foot around and it will maintain flatness. So we can control our foot by using a separate controller to decide exactly how much it's going to rotate or we can just script it, depending on how you feel. Okay, so that's cool. So now. means we can put these fellas a bit closer together, look. Like that. Just work out the correct distance between the two. Like so. So now we have two standard hips. Uh, you've got enough here even to build a kind of ghostly walk cycle if that's what you really want to, but I'll leave that up to you. You'll, you'll see that it starts to look kind of the way we want. Now, another thing we need to do is we need to take these, which are our controllers. We're going to right click and go to Object Properties. We don't want these to be renderable. Okay, so click that. Okay, so that way we won't see these controls, these nice simple controls, at render time. 
and if you want to make them easier to spot as well you can even colour them in okay so now where it says front I'm going to change this to front R L for front right leg and then I'm going to make it a copy and call this front LL so this is just for our reference, remember. Okay, so done quite a lot, done a bit of posing. We've got more or less everything we need now to put the hips in place. Um, let's see if I just check the position of these a little bit. There we go. So that's pretty cool. And in the next part, hips and lips. Yay! Ta-ta, love you.